What is going on, everybody? We are back here trying to finish this season on out. We got week nine here. Need to win this and the next game to guarantee ourselves that first round by. We get another pack, another head-to-head -head season badge, uh, and we don't have to play an extra playoff game. But instead of looking at that uh, first round by game, we got to make sure we win this. We get matched up with the Donovan McNabb, and I feel like everybody and their mother is running around with this Donovan McNabb. I don't know how expensive he is these days, uh, but I feel like everybody is using him. But uh, we got to get the stops. And he makes Donovan McNabb look like flipping black Jesus this game. I mean, this man was oh, just dotting, 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 and... I kept mistaking him for Cam Newton because I kept seeing him in the Panthers jersey, but it's definitely Donovan McNabb, and uh, we're in for a pretty solid, decent game, so first and 10 right here, he drops back, he's looking, he drops back, he's looking, he hits us with that dumbass shit that everybody keeps throwing, damn it, and everybody has some form of damn, like, PA wide receiver in that, like, shreds up zones, and uh, he has his own kind of version of it where he just makes the zones bite down and he gets us with the post over the top. I think that was the first or second play of the game. He hits us with the strike. Scores a touchdown. It's pretty stupid, but I mean, what are we going to do? So we come out on second and four right here. We hit Keenan Allen for a big gain down the sideline, getting us inside the 30-yard line. Uh, we're just trying to match his score. He got us with a quick one. We're trying to get him with a quick one, and we do. We're in the end zone. So the game's tied up 7-7. My goal is is to just make sure that he has to work this drive. Excuse me as we get some water. My goal is just make sure he drives. So on second and five, we get a sack right there. Setting up third and 13. I came out man coverage because I didn't want to get hit with that shit again, but I forgot about the corner route from the tight end. I should have put my man in a purple. We finally get him in a long down situation. He picks it up, but... The very next play after that third down, just starting the second quarter, he throws the interception, which is huge because I want to make him work. Show me that you, oh my God. Show me that you have offense other than chucking it. And uh, we don't do anything with it. We throw it right back. And third and 10, he picks up another first down. The second, third and 10, we've given up. Second and four, we stuff the run right there. Third and three, he's looking. We get a sack. Uh, setting up a fourth down. And I'm pretty sure he takes us three. So he goes up 10-7. We're approaching halftime. We do get ball. We score here. Get a score at half. It's not looking too bad. I just can't believe I threw that interception. Uh, we made a great play, a great adjustment on defense, getting us the interception. And a couple plays later, we throw it right back. Um, just stupid calling on offense, like tunnel vision, staring the route down. And we just didn't do anything good. As I try to chuck it up right here, we get a nice touch catch right there from Pyramid, right in the soft spot of the zone. And then a couple plays later, fullback dive with Alfred Morris, getting us the touchdown, leaving him with under 20 seconds to do something with it. And I'm pretty sure that he just, um, he wasn't able to get anything going. And we, this is the score we go into halftime with 14, 10, I get ball. We score a touchdown here, uh, make it an 11 point game. He's got a trail. Uh, everything should be looking all right. This is exactly the position we want to be in. As long as we execute, we're going to be all right. Third and eight, we drop back. We're looking. We hit Cooper out there with a pass, make a man miss, pick up the first down. Approaching midfield, again, we drop back, we're looking, I'm like, you want to do that dumb shit? Guess what, we can do it too. We hit him with our own uh, little, like, PA wide receiver in version that kind of makes the zones go stupid. He started it. I didn't start this shit. <laughs> he started it. Uh, so we had to answer back, but it doesn't even matter because the very next time... We get a sack right there, so we're looking good. We force a second and 23, and he hits us with the fuck. Oh, my God. He just hits us with the same shit out of a different formation. When I saw a different formation, I was like, all right, this is cool. And he has the audacity to celebrate. Oh, my God. Um, I'm like, all right, different formation. We finally forced him out of it, and he gets us with the same broken post route wheel combo bullshit, that, and it all sucks down the zones. and. Oh, it's just so frustrating. He hasn't really worked for any of his points. It's just been huge bombs, and it's pretty frustrating. He decides to go for two right here. If he gets this, he makes it a three-point game. So we definitely want to get the stop right here because it um, guarantees that he has to score a touchdown to take the lead. I'm making a couple adjustments. At the very last second, I put up a spy, um, and it comes in handy because he rolls out. I make my spy attack. He throws it before he wants to. We force an incomplete pass, keeping it at a five-point game. And again, I'm like, you want to do the bullshit? We can do the bullshit. We go ahead and hit him with the same shit 
he started this again this I wouldn't do this shit but he wants to do the whole glitch the zones and throw the post over the middle and do all that stuff we're gonna answer back and do the exact same thing I just choose not to do it is right there we finally send heat he breaks the sack and hits us with the bullshit again and has the audacity to celebrate so we just traded four touchdowns I threw a bomb he threw a bomb I threw a bomb he threw a bomb and we're pretty much back at ground zero where we started um, all this scoring has kept pretty much the game exactly where it was when we started this bullshit so we're approaching ha uh, we're approaching the fourth quarter right here I'm just I tried a new formation I was like you know what I'm done chucking it let's tick out this clock even if I get three we're looking good and we get a huge gain right here I tried to juke him out but um we're inside the 40 yard line and it's the start of the fourth quarter right here we drop back and home oh, I thought there was absolutely no way he would catch that ball. Zero chance. He was like five yards underneath it. I thought I could float it over his head. And, oh, my God. I bait him to throw the route. I finally go man coverage. He panics, throws it to the running back, and I don't get the pick. Somehow he gets in front of me. Uh, we force an incomplete pass. Third and one. He drops back. He's looking. We drop the interception on fourth and one. He goes to the QB sneak, picks it up right after we drop an interception. It's a rough life out here. First and ten, he goes with the run. Um, he scores a touchdown. He takes the lead. And if he scores it with little time left, he's going to win the game. Second and ten, he drops back. He's looking. He doesn't get rid of the ball. Notice he can't chuck up his shit right here because there's not enough room to glitch out the zones. And you can see he's completely locked on offense. Right here, he just goes with uh, fourth and 30. I'm in flipping man up three deep. And he throws an incomplete pass. And we're able to come away with the victory. You saw once we got him confined... He had no offense. Like, when that post shit wasn't working, there was nowhere to go. As you see, our average per plays, his is 15, mine's 12. 341 yards passing for me. Shit just got ridiculous. It, it, the fact that that's how that game went is just, oh, man. It was laughable and frustrating at the same time. When we did that exchange of touchdown, 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 I was like, just end this bullshit game. Like, this isn't even fun. Like, I'm not even having fun. Right here we go and show the interception. Look at the separation. There's a good, what, five yards, six yards right there. And um, I guess since we threw it off our back foot, we just didn't get the throw that I wanted. And uh, he was able to pick it off, which is oh so unfortunate. And as you can see, we had the post right over. We had the slant right over the middle for a touchdown. And instead I throw that. That was just being tunnel vision, not making my reads. And I guess you can call it a good play by him. But when he actually had to drive... He really didn't have anything going on offense. Um, we just go back and look at some of the plays right here. I think this is the play he shreds off the sack. I thought we were past Madden 15. Like I didn't know this was Madden 15 where we got QB blocks. As you see the post right there going, none of my deep blues react. He, I think what I need to do is once we buy another corner, I'm going to put Gilmore or somebody in that nickel spot because DRC's tackle and stuff isn't the greatest. So that might be another reason why he was able to break that shit. Um, so we're just taking notes. The fact that the game was what it was as close as it was just makes my just makes me sick. But it is what it is. We got the victory. We win week nine. We just got to win one more, and then we will be able to uh, get that first round by. As you see him doing some like gypsy magic shit with Donovan McNabb, just waiting for his shit to glitch out the zones. And um, you see my zones going dumb, like they're not even attempting to go back there. And Oh, man, but it is what it is. All the links are in the description, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, share, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, guys, uh, deuces.